sounding like an anthem, man. Them horns got me feeling real heroic right now, baby. Yes, this my 300 music. I'm about to get my lead. What's up, G Live family? This your boy Thizzle, aka the Ex Hustler, encouraging you to get connected to King. Let's get it. I got my fool on my own, my head to the sky. I'm going in the battle with my own. Let's get it, man. What's going on, Gospel Live family? It's your resident G Live at CP checking in with an exclusive interview with gospel rapper Thizzle. What's going on, man? What's up with you, bro? Oh, man, I'm good, man. So, let us know, everybody out on Gospel Live, uh, what's going on with you and just who you are, man, because I know a lot of people still may not be too familiar right, with your right, ministry. Right. So, we definitely want to put people on uh, to what God is doing. So, man, who is Thizzle? Man, uh, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, overall, man, I'm just a, a dude from the hood that's been redeemed by the Lord, man, and, and out to show the world who, who God is. And not only just that, in music, like my goal is, my goal is to be the medicine to the sickness, you mm. know, to be the, the counter counterpart to all the crazy stuff. Yeah. So I, I want to be able to get in music, show a. Uh, uh, Show a, a cultural relevant side mm -hmm. of inner city living, yeah. but from a Christian worldview. So that's me, man. I'm Dizzle. I'm a, I'm a rapper. I'm an artist. Yeah. Uh, just trying to show the world who the Lord is, man. One, my album when it came out, Chronicles of an Ex Hustler. Mm -hmm. When it came out, it debuted at number four on Secular Hip Hop Choice on iTunes. Oh wow! So like it charted like real well on yeah. iTunes, Secular Music. Um, it was in the charts with like uh, the Eminem, uh, mm. the, the Relapse album, the right. Wayne album, like right there with them, one, two, three, four. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, like those dudes trumped me and said, <laughs> <so. laughs> right. but it, it was right there. You good. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, man. Um, but I, I make sure, like, even with Going to the Hood, my album came out, man. Like, mm. I personally, out of, out of my own pocket, um, I passed out probably five to 700 CDs. Wow. Just, just out like I keep like thirty of like a thirty box of CDs in my car yeah, so at I'm all time. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm out, I'm in the street. I see dudes. I'm, I'm passing them out to dudes. Cause you've been in and out the country, right? I yeah. took a look at your MySpace. You've been in Australia just got back from and all Australia. types of places. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was over there for a week. I went over last year for like three weeks. Yeah. Um, and I, I just got back this time for a week. Um, I'm, I'm headed to. Um, London, September 25th. So I'm headed out to London, September 25th, man. I'm just I'm excited, man, to see what God doing. One thing I've learned through God um, in life now is uh, one of my favorite passages of the Bible is, is uh, Psalms 27. And my favorite line in it is when he said, when my mother and my father have forsaken me, Lord, take me and teach me your ways. Yeah. So like if, and coming up, that's, what I, that's how I felt. I felt like, man, like, my mom a drug addict. I don't have nobody. My dad gone. Like, I felt forsook. Like, it was just me in the world. Like, wow. and me against the world. But when I, I, I came to know who uh, Jesus was, mm -hmm. it was like, man, like, it, it, it showed me all along, no matter how messed up I was, God could fix me because he created me. Yeah. He created me. He created me with a purpose. So, uh, that, that, that encouraged me, you know what I'm saying, along. I remember being young, uh, like I said in one of my songs, I remember being young, wanting to die, man. Like, Hearing the type of stuff my mom was doing, like out in the street and um, just not having lights in the house and no gas, no food. I, I remember like sitting up as a young kid, like, man, I, I would rather be dead than this. Mm. But coming to know who God is um, through Jesus Christ, man, I just saw like, man, I'm made with a purpose. Yeah. And God made me and created me like for a reason. So for me to find out that reason, I have to go to God and seek him out on it. So I, I went to God, man, and, and I sought him out on it. And. And that's what I would encourage people uh, out there. I don't care how messed up your life is, uh, what kind of family you come from, what neighborhood you grow up in, how many people in your life dropped out, dropped out of school, whatever the case may be. Like, God is able to fix your life. Like, Amen. you may not be a millionaire, a baller, truck driver, like, but <laughs> God will fix your life to the point where you don't want or need. Like, and he will make sure that you're cool. And he'll give you peace, man. He'll give you joy. Now, what about some of our viewers that may have an interest in doing music or 
doing some kind of public ministry, what can you give to encourage them? One, make sure you got the talent. Everybody think because oh, we Christians, yes. <laughs> just it, say it, that again. Say everything that is acceptable. Time. Make sure you have the talent. Talent. And, and some people, like this, is what I see some people do. Some people will go in there and be like, "Man, like, I want to, uh, I want to rap," because they got a passion for music. Right. They want to see people. They want to see the music industry, uh, Christian, do well. Yeah. But that may not be your thing. Why right. don't you go be a manager? There we go. Why don't you go be an A and R? Yep. You can even probably start a label. Like, go do something else behind the scenes in music that could help it move forward too. Because everybody not rappers. Like everybody, right. everybody now thinks, oh, if I want to reach the inner city, I want to reach the urban community. I got to rap, and that's not true. Right. Like you could never be from the hood, don't know one rap song, and go off into a neighborhood and reach people. That's right. Like that's that's the reality. Jesus is not limited to our ability to reach people. Like you could come from a farm that's and real. move to the inner city and straight reach people with the gospel. Like it that's doesn't real. matter. Uh, I got a Facebook artist page, which is facebook.com slash thizzle music. Thizzle is T-H-I-S-L music spelled the regular way. So that's Facebook.com slash thizzle music. Uh, you can get at me on Twitter. Uh, it's Twitter.com slash Thizzle, T H I S L. Um, I got a website being worked on, stuff like that. So if you check my Twitter, check my Facebook, you'll see the website links. Right. And stuff like that. G Live TV, we got my man Thizzle. Thank you so much man, for stopping by, man, and you, blessing bro. us tonight with the concert and just the words of encouragement. Yeah. So check us out. You can uh, get with us on Facebook as well as on Kingdom Blog, which is blog.gospellivenow.com. Once again, that's blog.gospellivenow.com. And stop by the main page for the forthcoming site coming this fall at gospellivenow.com. Once again, that's www.gospellivenow.com. I'm your host, TP, and we're checking out. As always, get connected to Kingdom. Peace. I ain't turning back. No, I'm on my loop nine. nine. I'm daily dying. Daily. Holy Spirit, keep your boy while I'm on the grind. I'm Full on my own, cause I know them darts flying. Yeah. And I'm through playing games, show me I ain't lying. I'm walking out the way that I had as a juvenile. But this the plan that God had before I was a child. I'm walking in my destiny. I'm in. And He protecting me. I'm eating at a table prepared for Let's my eat,